Were we Puerto Ricans before the Spaniards came and made us Puerto Ricans? No, we were Diana Indians. But that still wasn't a nationality. That was just a tribe that we were we were claiming. It was Diana, right? Because we had native Indians. So we had Diana Indians, Cherokee, and all these other Indians. You know what I mean? But we still were the same people. Why do you think they don't teach this in school? That's what I want to know. Even though it's guns and all the niggas I be hanging with I can't save you from drowning if we both stuck on the sinking ship I don't wanna be no plug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no thug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no hitter, that's all they talking about chapter 17 and verse 4. It's a lot. Because we can tell you anything we want, right? Yeah. But we're going to tell you it's the words of the Bible, the words of the Most High God. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because we don't know our history prior to slavery. We don't know who we were. We just, got, we just go to school. Yeah, they give you a book with they say whatever. They, they give you a label of who you is. Yeah. The white man does that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you though, what, that this was prophesied to happen to you. What's your, what's your nationality? So-called black man. African-American. So... All by words. That's Judah. Y'all from the tribe yeah, of Judah. The, tribe of the Judah. same tribe so-called Jesus Christ came from. The same y'all. That's your big brother. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So you and y'all, all y'all, all, all of us, we're going to discontinue from our heritage. We're not going to remember who we are. Like, we're, we're going to be calling ourselves things that we never called ourselves. That I gave unto thee. He and gave you a true heritage. You really are the children of the Most High God. Yeah. Right? You gotta understand, everybody in the earth today has a biblical nationality. Right? We're taught all these names. The Chinese names, the you know, Caucasian people, everybody. This is how modern society calls you people. But what you gotta understand, every race in the earth today has a biblical nationality. Right? So, so every race on earth today, oh, we are the same people of before. You know what I mean? So the same nationalities in the Bible, the same people that was in the Bible, they're here today. Nobody fell from space and became a new species. You know what I mean? So they just changed our name so that we don't, so it's called, it's called confusion. You know what I mean? They want to confuse us so we don't learn the truth. So again, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy in a land which thou knowest not. Mm -hmm. He was going to cause you to serve your enemies in a land that you never knew. Right? Y'all got y'all got snatched up from the western shores of Africa. You know what I mean? Y'all came to the Americas by force. You had to serve enemies and cause them to You know, they, they picked our backs. They hung us. They cut the babies out the mother's womb, slammed them, and gave them to the dogs. The dog food and gave it to the alligators and the gator boots and gator belts. This is what they did though. They called you to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. Because because we, we pissed the most high God off. I mean, because God is our heavenly father. Right? Y'all got any of y'all got kids? Nah. But you got you got have your father in your life? 
So if your father said don't do something and y'all went and did it anyway, it's gonna piss him off, right? You, you might get your ass whooped, you might get shit taken away from you, right? But when you do good, he gives you. And he tells you, go do this, you I'm proud of you, right? But when you're not, yo, I'm not proud of you, man. I'm not bailing you out of jail. I'm not putting no money on your phone time. I'm not putting no money on your commentary. You should have listened to me. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Because y'all, y'all are holy. Holy means separate. He severed y'all, separated y'all from everybody. That's why we the best in boxing. That's right. why we the best in football, basketball, any sport, baseball, even when you come That's to soccer, man. Matters. We still prevail, man. Yo, they had us in hardcore slavery. They couldn't stop us, man. We were still giving praise to the Most High God. That's right. The white man got the life he got the life handed to him, and they right. don't believe in God. But we got go through all these atrocities, and we still got the strength and the belief that there is a God, and that God is our God. Right. That's right. Thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He chose y'all to be a special people, so-called black and Hispanics. Because we, we are the best people on the earth, man. Can't nobody fuck with us in no type of area besides maybe shooting. You know what I mean? Because the white man trained their kids at seven years old to you know, shoot. But the white man was given the sword. You know what I mean? That was his blessing. Esau. The biblical, the biblical Edomite, the, the biblical man of Esau is a so-called white man. Because he, he has been stripped of his melody. That was his curse. That's why the white man had melody. And she know who we are, man. We are the children of God. We are the prophets. We are all. We are all not the children of God. We are all not the children of God. So let's get into that because they want to believe something. Let's tell him no. Y'all mean because because where they gonna get this from? They gonna get this from John three sixteen. Let's bring out John three sixteen and let's get let's go to where they believe that God so loved everybody. Chapter 8, verse 44. 
ye are of your father the devil. So with everyone is a child of God, you're the children of the devil. Right. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. Right. So, so John 3, 16. Let, let me show y'all what the Christian church is doing. Used as a weapon against us. This is white. This is what white supremacy used against us. Because this Bible is for us, but they'll find things in there and build a whole re of religion out of out of something that they misunderstand. Right. Uh, this is the book of John, chapter three, and verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. So God so loved the world. Does that mean He loves everybody in the world? Whosoever believes in him. Does that mean whosoever? Let's find that out. Bring that out. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So that sounds like John 3, 16. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, right? Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Hold on, hold on. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. What? You so you men of Israel. He men of Israel. This is whosoever. So if I'm talking to us, whosoever here does something, I'm talking to y'all. Right, I ain't talking right. to everybody in the world. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, the, and the Bible has always been talking to the Israelites. That's it was right. Never talking to the Edomites, Elamites, Moabites. It was never talking to Put them. Put it out. talking to them people. So when he was talking to a group of people and he said, all people, he meant all the people that standing in front of me listening to me right now. You know what I mean? Because Christ was only in Judea, only dealing with dealing with the, the lost sheep of Israel. That's right. That's the only people he dealt with. Keep going, on. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Bring it up. Come. Now, now this was this was New Testament. So John said, whosoever shall call on the name shall be saved, right? But the book of Acts came after the book of John. So now the book of Acts said, ye men of Israel is whosoever. And this is this is reiterated from the Old Testament because the Christian church don't want to believe in the Old Testament. But it's all about Israelites, okay? Book of Job, this is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 32. And it shall be the man that whosoever that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever, everybody in the world. Nah, I don't think so. For in Mount Zion, in Mount Zion, that's where Israel, that's for the Israelites, man. And in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that's our holy city. Shall be delivered. That's right. There, in there, there shall be deliverance. In Israel, man, within us. Yeah, you know I mean, because we call ourselves black, we call ourselves Puerto Rican, and Spanish. But we really the fifth of the Israelites, man. We are standing here on this earth today, man. Come, this is the book of John. Right, finish that one. Do the book. Come. The, in the, uh, uh, verse 32. That I am in the midst of Zion, and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. As the, um, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant. Whom the Lord shall call. So in the remnant of Israel is who the Lord shall come call. Because it's only going to be a small amount of the so-called black and Spanish being saved. Two-thirds of our people got to die. That means two out of every three. That means there's five, four of y'all. That means two. Two of y'all got to die. One of y'all got to live. You know what I mean? That's that's what the Bible says. That means because we're going to be hard-headed. We're not going to listen to God. So we got to die for that. All right. This is a precept, right? You got to also understand the context of the New Testament. In the New Testament. They weren't reading from the book of Mark, Matthew, Luke, John, because they were living in that time. They were reading great evidence. But what they're reading from is the Old Testament, right? That's the book of the prophets, the Torah, right? So when it's talking about whosoever, right, they're using this language, right, that's coming from what they read in the Old Testament. I'm going to show you that this is the same language, right, from the book of John 16. This is Isaiah 46, and verse 16. They shall, they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. This is talking about the, the, the evil, right? So these other nations outside of the Israelites, they're going to be ashamed and confounded. Right. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. So so that's what that's what they did. They made these idols so that y'all can be confused. They confused themselves. You know what I mean? Because they think that the top is right. They confused themselves. All right, all right, all right. You got to understand Israel never had a god. Uh, uh, they always would take on the other gods of the other people, or they would worship their gods. So they never made any god for themselves. They always either followed their god that appeared to them through the prophets, or they worship gods of other nations. And they didn't make idols, right? But here's the point. This is verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, right? 
ye shall not be ashamed nor world without end. So Israel shall be saved in the Lord with, a, with an everlasting salvation. You know what I mean? It don't say everybody. It says Israel shall be saved. You know why? Because it's the most high God of Israel. You know what I mean? What's going to happen to these other nations, man? It's going to be destruction for these other nations. But what Yo. they did to us, man, karma has to make its way back around. You know what I mean? They walking on stolen land, making them pay taxes and saying, you can get stolen land from me, bro. Like how crazy is that? And then they tell us put a mask on, we put a mask on, bro. And they ain't do nothing but enslave you, man. They give you ten, fifteen dollars. Now so they can build they, they business and make them rich, man. They don't give a damn about it. They give you a fifty cent raise and call it a day, man. Right. You know what I mean? Twenty dollars an hour, we think that's something, bro. That's really comes to these nations, bro. Bring that up. Kind of, uh, kind of, if, I, if I could just make a, a point too, because the, then the thing, the whole thing is that, no, we ain't talking to our people. We talking to you and our people. You know, we all decided to go where they all got to go. They come through, right? So the whole thing is like, when you see John 3 16, people read John 3 16, but then you ask them, like, okay, what does John 3 14 say? What does John 3 and 1 say? They confused. But everybody got John 3 16 all over the bumper sticker. Grandma got it posted up on the wall, but if you ask them, like, well, what does one say? So we're going to go to one to get context, because that's what people don't do. They don't get the context of the situation, right? So this is the book of John chapter 3 and verse 1. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Verse 2, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he could not see the kingdom of God. So the whole thing is this. It said Nicodemus, he was a Jew himself, and Christ, he is a Jew. So you got two Jews having a conversation. So what is the conversation about? I'm going to jump down to verse, verse uh, 12. Uh, uh, yeah, 14, it's a lot here. No, no, right. Uh, 14. And, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up? Cunning, and I'm just going to it. Uh, that's a uh, numbers, numbers uh, 21, because that's the whole context. That's just like if me and this brother standing around, we talking about Black and Hispanic history. Like how all of a sudden he slide in, and it's like it's Nicodemus and or Nicodemus and Jesus talking about the Jewish history. That's what Moses he was a Levi of the tribe of Israel. So why two verses later, just because it say world, now all of a sudden everybody's in, but the context was the, the first 15 verses before was only one talking about one nation. Now in the 16th verse, now it's everybody. Right. That, that's how you know it's mad. It's a lot in the head. Like you said, it's world. I just read to you in Isaiah that Israel shall be a world without end. So it's letting you know that Israel as a nation are a world themselves. That's what you've got to get the understanding of the word, right? The word world is not talking about everybody in earth. It's talking about Israel. So, so if God so loved the world, right, shouldn't we love the world too? If God loves it, shouldn't we love it, right? This is the book of James, right? James chapter 4. Verse 4. The adulterers and adulteresses. So he's calling us adulterers and adulteresses because the Most High God is, he, he considers us like his wives. I mean, he's the husband. That's how he considers us. That's how much he loves us. You know what I mean? So he's calling us adulterers and adulteresses because we're going and serving other gods like celebrating Christmas. You know, you know what Christmas is? Christmas, you know what the balls on the Christmas tree mean? It's the hanging of the black man, bro. And the, right. and, the, and, all, and the black families got Christmas trees and Christmas balls all over in their houses, man. They had no idea the history of this thing. Thanksgiving. Y'all celebrate Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah. Uh, but we don't, y'all don't know. Y'all mean, but what y'all got to know is Thanksgiving is about Christopher Columbus coming over here and rape, robbing, and murdering so many good people, bro. The, the native Indians, bro. The turkey is the head of the native Indian. The cranberry is the blood of the shed. They break the bottle of blood them. You know the same time, you know I mean? And, and, and cook a meal and have a supper with us? Nah, man, he, he betrayed us. You know what I mean? He spoke so good, he had a sword behind his back. As soon as he turned our back, he stabbed us, man. He 
you talk about how to take a bath, these damn white people ain't even know how to take a bath, right? Right. They didn't know how to grow up, we taught them how to grow and all that, man. And they still did this to us, right? They ain't our front, they're our enemy, bro. And we, they always gonna be our enemy. Bring it out. Right. It's the book of James, chapter four and verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Okay. So the friendship of the world is, is provoking the most high God, provoking him in anger. That's, so but God so loved the world that why being a, a, being loving the world makes us, you know, have a problem with God. Because now we got a problem with him. Right. Uh, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world. Whosoever is a friend of the world. Whosoever is a friend with the white man. Right. Whoever is a, whosoever is a friend with the Asian man. A friend with the, e the damn East Indian man. Is the enemy of God. We're the enemy of God, man. God don't love these other nations. He don't want us doing what they do, man. You know what I mean? We are the best people on this earth, man. We gotta act like that. We are gods on this earth. We are kings on this earth, man. Right. And kings don't live like how other people live. They don't live like the homeless man. We live like kings, man. We royalty. That's that's the Christmas tree. Yeah, look at this in the Bible. Because they'll say it's Christmas in the Bible, or it's, it's Christ born on Christmas. And in the Bible, it hates this, this day. The Bible tells you not to celebrate this day. But the Christians all want to have, yo, I'm telling you, Christianity is a hell of a drug, man. Right. Our people are so blinded by this white, this damn white cracker right here, man. Right. Right. Don't give a damn about that boy. That's well, right. step on him, ain't nothing going to happen to us. Right. right. Ain't, ain't nothing going to happen but blessings coming to us. Right! The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right, and that's going into, you know, people looking up on the schools and saying, oh, I'm going to have a good day today, because that's what my signs say. The Lord told us not to do that, not because that's what they do. They they, they think that they day is going to be predicated the way how the star and the moon is being lifted up. The Lord said that our day is going to be predicated upon him giving us blessings. Boom. A phone app is going to tell us how our day is going to go. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people really believe that. Yo, especially our women, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, verse 3. For the customs. All right, listen to this. I'm going to show you Christmas in the Bible. That's, that's what's up, man. But for real, I mean, you got to come back to God, man. You know what I mean? Listening is one thing, but doing is another. You know what I mean? Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. So somebody's Got cutting it. the tree out the forest. The works are the hands of the workman with the axe. So somebody got an axe chopping down the tree. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They decorating this tree with silver and gold. And they fasten it with nails and hammers that it move not. They put it in that in that container, in that thing where they screw the screw in. You know what I'm talking about? They dang the nails in so it don't move, so it can stand straight. What that sound like? They're oh, taking a the tree, hey, they're bringing it to the house, they're decorating like it. Like That's what the balls mean. That's what the balls in the Christmas tree uh, They fasten it, uh, Salaka. They decorate with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it move not. Verse 5, they are upright like the palm tree. Right. So you know what palm tree looks like to stand straight, you know what I mean? It's open. But speak not. They must need to be born. But they could not go. Be not afraid of them. Let me give you something to take for they cannot so do evil, neither can they do good. So these other gods, because that's really worship that's other gods. Right? These other gods can't do no evil to you or no good to you. So we out here robbing people so we get some presents for our family. I mean, we out here spending our rent money so that we can go and make somebody else happy. I mean, it's not doing no good to you. And they will do no evil if you don't worship that, right? I mean, it's only going to be a blessing if you worship this most high. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, you say they put up this situation where it makes it like it's hard if you don't do this kind of service. The whole time, that's what you're going to be celebrating. I don't know. The same thing so celebrating the same shit they do. I'm going to do for us. Like, I'm us. Because it's just making me sick. Because if, if, we, if we're being disobedient to God and we're going and contrary to the sin, he's punishing us. But if we come back to his commandments, he put us above all nations. He'll kill these people before we even go to the world. He'll kill them for us, bro. He did it before. You know what I mean? We got, we got the real power, man. And, that, and that's why they, they want their God to be our God, because they know our God is the true God. 
We are kings and priests, I gotta shine when I maneuver. We be in the streets, y'all niggas high behind computers. We trying to escape the parable of sour grapes. So if you wanna keep his grace, you better seek your house face.